Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'll be sharing a story about a boy who was born into a middle class family. He's smart, good natured, kind hearted, good looking, and responsible, making his parents proud. He has two younger siblings and was the eldest. Tragically, his father passed away during his high school years, forcing his mother to work multiple jobs to support the family. Despite financial limitations, he continued his studies at a public school. To make ends meet, his mother had to borrow money from the bank and work tirelessly to repay the loan and provide for their family. Eddie my son, I'm going to work please look after your younger siblings. I already prepared food for the three of you just heat them up when you're ready to eat. I will be home late. Please close the door and do not let any stranger enter our house. It's for your safety. I have my keys so you don't need to pan the door for me. Just go to sleep so you can wake up early and go to school tomorrow. Okay mother. Don't worry about us. I will look after my younger brother and sister. Please take care of yourself mother. Since father passed away you've been working multiple jobs and not able to rest. I hope you will have time to rest your body mom. You need to be healthy too. You are very thoughtful and caring my son. I'm so lucky to have a son like you. I thank God every day for blessing me such kind and responsible son like you. Since your father passed away you've been helping me a lot in the house and looking after your siblings. I'll study hard mom to be able to help you. I know how hard it is for you to work multiple jobs and look after us. I promise you one day, we will have a better and comfortable life. Thank you my dear son. I'm so proud of you. All I want from you is to look after yourself and also your siblings. I pray that I will be able to provide more for our family. My dream is for all of you to finish school, earn a degree and have comfortable lives. I pray for your health and safety also. Okay my son I'm going now. Take care of yourself and your brother and sister. Okay mother. Please take care of yourself too. I love you mom. I love you too my son. I have to hurry I need to help Mr. Gordon in this store so he can give me some bread so we can have something to eat for breakfast before we go to school. Eddie you've been working hard today. Go now so you can go to school with your siblings. Pick up some bread in the table that's for you and your family. Make sure to eat breakfast before you kids go to school. Thank you very much Mr. Gordon. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for allowing me to work in your store and giving me bread to take home for my family. You deserve it kid. You've been so good to your family. Helping your mom and looking after your siblings. Go now do you won't be late for school today. Okay Mr. Gordon. Thank you very much sir. I need to hurry home so I can prepare my siblings to school. Dearest God thank you so much for your goodness and faithfulness. Today, we have bread to eat for breakfast before going to school. Thank you for the kindness of Mr. Gordon I know God you sent him to help us. Please God don't get tired of looking after my family. Especially my mother please protect her and keep her safe and healthy. I know how tired she is working multiple jobs to support our family but she never complain and always have smile on her face. Please let me be an instrument to be able to improve my family's situation. I ask this graces in Jesus Christ name. Amen. Why is Eddie wearing the same clothes every day? I know he looks like a beggar and I'm sure that shirt smells terrible. Look at his shoes too it's all worn out. Can't his parents buy him a new one? Are their family that poor? Oh my he looks so pitiful. Ha 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 you are very funny Amy. You notice everything about Eddie. Do you like him? What? Of course not. And why will I like a poor boy like him? Oh no. They are talking about me. What can they do my family don't have enough money to buy me new shoes and clothes I'm. I don't have the heart to ask my mother. She is already very tired looking for money to support us. We only have enough to buy food for our family. God please help my family. Please don't get tired of helping and looking after us oh God.
Look at Eddie, he been standing and looking at the cafeteria food but he is not even buying any. Maybe he don't have any money to buy food for lunch. Poor boy, what a pity. Eddie can you unload those boxes of groceries from the truck? They are newly delivered canned goods and poultries. Yes sir. I already finished cleaning the pantry sir. I'll go ahead outside now and unload the boxes. After that help me arrange the canned goods in the shelves. After that do the inventories before you head home. Yes sir. I'll do that sir. Okay Eddie, and thank you for helping me here in my store. How many jobs are you doing Eddie? About three jobs sir. Usually after schools after I bring my siblings home I start working on my part time jobs to help my mom. You are a good kid. Seldom I see young kids now doing things like you do. God bless you for being such a good boy. Your parent must be proud of you. Thank you sir. Eddie there are some old clothes and shoes for you at the table. Those are my children's old things maybe it will fit you. Share it with your siblings. Oh thank you so much sir. Thank you. I really need another shoes mine was worn out already. My siblings will be happy too. Thank you so much. Dearest God thank you for providing for our needs. I know that these blessings comes from you. Thank you God for your goodness and faithfulness. Look at Eddie. Do you think he looks handsome? What? You think Eddie looks handsome? How can he look good when it's obviously he can't even buy new clothes to wear? He is such a poor guy. Don't say that Amy, I know that you find Eddie handsome too. I caught you many times secretly looking at him. Oh no no no. I won't fall in love with that kind of poor guy. You'll never know Amy, Eddie is smart guy even though he is poor. Who knows he might be lucky one day and become wealthy. With his good looks and smart brain it's not impossible. No way. I don't believe that. I don't think he can. You'll never know. Nobody knows. Sometimes life is a big mystery. And I think Eddie like you too. I caught him many times staring at you when you are not looking. What? The nerve of him. I will not fall for someone like him. He is a poor guy. I will not have any future with that kind of guy. He must find someone of his type. Despite facing hardships in life, Eddie grew into a smart and handsome young man. However, he became attracted to his classmate Amy, a beautiful but rude and materialistic woman. With determination, Eddie mustered the courage to approach and try to talk to Amy. Hi Amy. How are you doing? Are you enjoying watching the game? You are talking to me? What can I do for you? Do you need anything? I would like to invite you for a dinner party this Saturday. It's my mom's birthday and we have little celebration at home. It's dinner time. Mom cooks really good. I'm sure you'll love her food. What? You are inviting me to have dinner with you at your house? Me? Oh sorry I don't go to poor guys like you. Go find someone at your class Eddie. Are you not aware of our differences? Oh I am so sorry Amy, I was insensitive not to know that. Sorry for inviting you. This will not happen again. Of course. Now you know. Eddie was heartbroken and deeply hurt by Amy's hurtful words. He focused on his studies and side hustles, including software development and building small online businesses, with the determination to improve his financial status and become wealthy one day. Ten years pass by so quickly and one day Amy and Eddie's path cross again. Oh Eddie. It's you. How are you doing? It's been ten years since the last time I saw you. Oh Amy. Fancy meeting you here. Oh how have you been these past ten years? You look much better compared before. Thank you Amy. You look beautiful. Of course. I look more beautiful because I married a well-off man. He is high earner, from a wealthy family and he working at a 100 million dollar project of a famous and renowned company. He is smart and handsome. I'm sure you won't able to surpass that. Oh really? Good for you then. Mr. Carter, sir you're here. 
I'm so happy to have met you here sir. I want you to meet my wife Amy. What Colin? What are you saying? My beautiful wife Amy, I'd like you to meet my boss. He is the owner of one the company that I'm working. Remember I told you the 100 million dollars project? That's only one of the many companies Mr. Carter owns. He is a very successful businessman, a very wealthy man at his age. He is brilliant and very impressive. What? This poor guy. He is your boss. Are you sure Colin? You are not joking? And why is your husband be joking? Amy? He is right I am his boss and I own several successful company. Your husband is one of my employee. What? For real? Why are you talking to my boss like that Amy? Give my boss the courtesy he deserves. Okay guys. Nice to see you here. I have to go my wife and children are waiting for me. We have a dinner date here. I'm sure they are waiting for me now. Amy what's gotten into you? Why do you act like that in front of my big boss? Do you know how successful and wealthy that man is? I might lost my job there because of the way you are acting. You're so rude. Oh I'm sorry husband. I didn't know. Is he a married man? Yes. He is married to one of the wealthiest family here in New York. His wife's father is very influential politician and businessman. Really? They're that great and wealthy. Oh my, I'm so sorry husband. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to treat your big boss like that. I don't want to see you right now Amy. I'm very upset with you. You better go home by yourself. I'm so sorry husband. Sorry I didn't know. I should not marry you. I should have married Eddie. If I accepted his proposal before I should be the wealthiest woman this time. Life is like a wheel. Sometimes you're on top, sometimes you're at the bottom. However we always keep going through this life. Because we should never let the bumps or hurdles in the road of our life's journey stop us from reaching it to the top. The blessing of the Lord is an unutterable experience. It places you in a position where no one can stop the good things from flowing in and through your life. Nothing can stop God from blessing you. Yet, his blessing is predicated on you fully trusting him. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you learned something today. Thank you for your time. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe on my channel so you will always be updated with our upcoming videos. God bless and take care. See you again. Bye for now.